Hey parents, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in the power of prayer? You see, I am a living testimony of the power of praying parents, parents who are unwilling to give up and who hang on and hold tight to the powerful arm of Jesus Christ on behalf of children. You see, I remember mom and dad when I was just acting up when I was arguing and bickering with my mother and my father back and forth for a very long time, I wanted nothing to do with God. And I remember one night, it was early in the morning, two, three o'clock in the morning, and on the foot of my bed, there I saw my mother and father with bended knees praying on my behalf. That completely changed me, that compelled me. What their rules and regulations, what their fear did not do, their prayers and their love radically changed my life. In Daniel 9, verse 18 and 19, listen to this promise. It says this, Oh my God, here's Daniel praying, incline your ear and hear, open your eyes and see our desolations and the city which is called by your name. For we do not present our supplications because of our righteous deeds, but because of your great mercies. When my parents were in prayer, they said, Lord, we have nothing to offer you. It's not because we're good. It's not because we're righteous, but Lord, hear our prayer on behalf of our daughter because of your great mercies. And it continues and says, oh Lord, hear. Oh Lord, forgive. Oh Lord, listen and act. Do not delay for your own sake, my God. Do not delay for your own sake. When my parents prayed for me, as they continue to pray for me and my brother, they're praying not so much for me necessarily, but that my life might bring glory and honor to God. So parents, today, do not feel discouraged. Do not feel dismayed. You are in the right position for God to act powerfully in the lives of your children through your bended knees. So today, pray.